Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I want to go through the uh, Carter AFB 4 barrel secondary system, how it works, the adjustments we need to make. Um, the first, uh, what is the role of the secondary system? In a Carter AFB carburetor, it's designed to enhance the engine performance when the demand for the power exceeds what the primary side can deliver. Uh, typically this occurs during the rapid acceleration or when the engine is operating at high RPMs. The secondary system consists of two larger throttle bores that open progressively as the engine requires more air. So you can see how it starts to open there and then progressively. There we go. Okay. So the secondary system is actuated by a combination of vacuum and mechanical forces. When the driver opens the throttle beyond a certain point, the increased airflow creates a vacuum signal that activates a diaphragm if your AFB has it, that's on the older ones, or air valve within the carburetor. This one would use the air valve. This action gradually opens the secondary throttle plates, allowing more air to flow into the engine. Simultaneously, a mechanical linkage connected to the primary throttle plates helps control the weight rate at which the secondaries open. So that would be over here. Okay, so see how it's connected to the secondary? So that helps. So you got both vacuum and mechanical. So, and that ensures uh, the transition is smooth, otherwise you don't, because you, you don't want the secondaries open too quick. It'll bog down. Okay, as the secondary throttle plates open, additional fuel is introduced in the airstream via the secondary venturi clusters. And this is where your fuel, air fuel comes through when, you, when it's needed. Mostly by vacuum at that point. Okay, so tuning the secondary system, uh, and that's one of the advantages of this carburetor is its tunability. The secondary system can be adjusted to suit different driving conditions and engine setups. Uh, this can be achieved by changes to secondary air valve springs, adjusting the secondary throttle linkage, or modifying the secondary jets. Now you only want to do that when you're doing a high performance engine, you put in a bigger cam, a high performance intake, something like that. Don't do it thinking your carburetor's on a stock engine, thinking your carburetor's going to get you more power. It's not going to happen. It's kind of like putting a four barrel on a two barrel, on an engine that uses a two barrel. There isn't enough engine to use the air fuel that's going to go through the four barrel carburetor. Okay, so First thing I want to talk about is the dog lockout. So the FB has a lockout dog, is what it's called, this right here. And what it does, it locks the secondary so that it doesn't open when the choke is closed. So what you want to find out is if you open the primary throttle a bit and the choke is closed, uh, make sure this thing is right there in the lock and locked out okay and uh, you can see I can't I can't open the secondaries at that point all right if it doesn't do that there could be a couple of problems one thing is you can bend this for an adjustment this little tab right here um, and the other thing is the spring could be bad in here uh, not allowing it to move or it's dirty something like that so that's something to look for just make sure the dog uh, is locking out your secondaries. You don't want your secondaries to open uh, when your the choke is closed and you're and it's cold. You'll just it'll give it way too much air. Okay, so your high speed circuit on the secondary side, um, and here's a uh, illustration of it here. The gas. Uh, when, well, let's back up a little bit. When your secondary throttle valves are open and your auxiliary valve closer to the top is open and it opens from um, 
the engine, the, the airflow going through the top and the engine vacuum. Uh, gas is brought up through this passageway into the Venturi. So here's your Venturi right here. So when you take these off, make sure all the passages, the small passages going to the Venturi are open. Now here's where the gas goes in. Now if you've got gas that dribbling out of there uh, at idle, you, you got a problem somewhere. Um, so that you probably in your secondary so that's uh, you don't want that. Alright so let's see what else here. Let's go to the next thing. Oh uh, so when all the, when both the primary and secondary valves are closed like this uh, of course it opens as soon as I don't want it to. Okay. When they're closed like this, you want 20 thousandths measured in between here. Obviously this is a lot more than it should be. And uh, to uh, bend it, bend this shoe right here, or bend this a little bit. So you want about 20 thousandths. Okay, so that's your uh, secondary throttle valve closing. Okay, so uh, the timing of the secondary opening is important. And so the way we test that is uh, make sure your choke is off. Choke is off. And when your primary, this primary side, the smaller ones, when the gap between the valve and the wall of the carburetor bore gets to 5 sixteenths, right there, this one's adjusted just fine, the secondary should open. So again, to get five, at 5 sixteenths, the secondary should open. Now, to adjust that, you need to adjust it, adjust it with this arm right here. You'll have to bend it, let's see, squeeze it together more, uh, it'll open faster, uh, straighten out, it'll open slower, okay? And don't fudge, just do it like it's supposed to be. So on the AFB you have an excuse me, auxiliary valve, this right here, it has little weights on it, it's just free floating. You want to make sure that it uh, doesn't catch anywhere. And what it does is uh, as, you, as you get uh, airflow through the carburetor intake, uh, that opens up this valve and allows more air fuel in and your fuel comes right out through these holes, the discharge holes, kind of like the main discharge uh, for the primary but these are secondaries and so as you speed up there's going to be airflow through here it's going to suck gas into the secondary uh, throttles. So that's our auxiliary valve. Uh, there's uh, like I say, make sure it opens easily. And we talked about the discharge and the lockout and how the auxiliary valve works. So that's pretty much it on the secondary. Uh, make those adjustments. Make sure you got fuel flowing out of these secondaries uh, when you need it, not when not at idle not just when the primary, the throttle valves have to be open. If you got fuel flown out of here and they're not and the throttle valves are closed then you got a problem somewhere. Okay? Follow your passages, clean them out. And that's it for the AFB secondary. Appreciate you watching. You can find parts for this at mikescarb.com M-I-K-E-S-C-A-R-B.com Thank you again.